So they are the top six in the race, and they will start one to six on the grid. The finishing order from the pre-final will dictate the order of this grid for the final. So Courtney there, the two Tony Kart drivers, Courtney and Carapatoso, on the front of the grid ahead of Nicastro Sura. Renault, who we saw there, just tangling with Beno, the 113, managed to uh, survive it slightly better. So 34 machines still making it onto the grid here. James Hansen of Great Britain on the penultimate, on the final row, in fact. Thomas Sisley in there as well, British driver, and Luke Hines, son of multiple world champion Martin Hines, the zip cart man, is on the grid. And Dean Panrucker, the best of the Brits in ninth place in his Fullerton cart. So then, the Formula A final of the World Championships. 20 laps, and it's all or nothing. Nothing else counts. Now, no previous racing, no previous points, no previous experience, no previous lap times, no previous nothing. As the pace car pulls off with James Courtney at the head of this field, when they go across the start-finish line, now 20 laps, and only one man will go away from here happy. And he will be the Formula A world champion for 1997. Who will it be? The two Tony Kart men out front. Courtney, Carapatoso, Nikko right with them. And a lot of bumping and boring down the order. Oof, some very heavy riding of the curb there. I think it was 155, uh, Leo Laguada, who's just ahead of Dean Panrucker really thumping his machine over the curb. That jars the teeth and rattles the eyeballs. So, Courtney leading it, and a good start by 171, Andre Nicastro, taking him into some place, but look at the pace of James Courtney. Well, he'll have to keep the tyres alive. The Japanese picks up a place as well, Kazuki Matsura. And he needed to, he didn't make the best of starts, got really quite badly swallowed up there. Nicastro with his head down. Oh, and the Japanese is flying. Picks up third place there. I'm sure he went through into third on the BS machine. He did. Behind him, 157 fourth place is Vitantonio Liuzzi. And then 123, the Brazilian Carapatoso. Now the Japanese driver's helmet with the green and yellow preponderance to the colors really looks like a Japanese helmet as well. Uh, like a Brazilian helmet as well, rather than a Japanese one. Not actually too sure what a Japanese helmet should look like, but certainly green and uh, yellow in those sort of uh, amounts makes you immediately think of Brazilian colours. Well, he's applying the pressure now, isn't he, to uh, 171, Andre Nicastro. And in this tight, twisty track, in excellent conditions this world championship being played out but the leader is just racing away from them now we saw that happen in the pre-final as Kazuki Matsura picks up another position we saw in the pre-final the Frenchman just driving away from everybody but he finished so far down the order so the question is, can James Courtney hold on to it? Kazuki Matsura really driving a great race here. Andre Nicastro with him. So Australia leads from Japan. Brazil third. There he is, Andre Nicastro. And behind them still, although we haven't seen them for a while, I think Ruben Carapatoso and Vitantonio Liuzzi. So, Courtney, then Matsura, and then Nicastro. And Matsura now, in his very distinctive all-black get-up, is starting to pull away, clean and comfortable in second place. Up into fourth is Guillaume Renault, the Frenchman, 179. Just get the occasional flash of him in the background. Such is the pace of these frontners that they are opening up huge swathes of ground between themselves. 
and certainly between the, them and the rest of the field. James Courtney rushing away into the middle distance. Andrina Castro out of third place. Oh, disappointment for him, but James Courtney one lap to go. And it must be a very disheartening sight indeed, that uh, gap between James Courtney and Kazuke Matsura, because Matsura surely knows that nothing except for mechanical carnage could have handed him the win there. And James Courtney with the little victory slides. Oh, I can just imagine uh, shouting to himself inside the helmet there. Fantastic job. Drove a superb pre-final. And from the start of the race was never challenged. A great drive through to take the world championship. So the Formula A world champion on the Tony Kart, James Kni. Matsura second from Renault the Frenchman, Mercier Carapetoso sliding down the order to fifth place ahead of LaGuardia. So there they are, the young men of the future, no question about it. It's very seldom that top talent from this karting championship doesn't go on to make its name in major international karting and of course in single seater motor racing so used to seeing that james courtney receiving a trophy that's certainly taller than the girl who is bringing it up and uh, almost taller than him as well zuka matsura in second place great race from him so he's the winner let's hear from the young aussie yeah well, in the pre-final i just made sure uh, i was at the front and conserving the tires then in the final in the start, I, I went hard to get the gap, and in the middle, I just choked and kept everything cool, and then in the last lap, I went very hard. Good, good. And we won, and so it's very good. What's your next step? Uh, next year, I hope to race Super A. I think that'd be a good challenge. That'll be a good challenge indeed, in with the best in the world. And I think that on this performance, James Courtney has certainly showed that he can race with them as well.